Ahead. And we have new information about a call with President Putin. Uh, can you tell us more about what prompted this? Was it decided in response to these recent ransomware, ransomware attacks? Um, what exactly did President Biden say? He reiterated that the United States will take any necessary action to defend its people. What threats of that is did he make? And then um, I wanted to know, uh, the top of the readout suggests that it was partly sort of a, pre a pleasant call, the leaders commended their joint work. So can you explain why President Biden was at all pleasant in this call when it seemed that there are all of these ransomware attacks coming from Russia that, that may have been government approved? Uh, first, uh, let me say that uh, the President is a believer in face-to-face uh, -face diplomacy when possible and leader-to-leader -leader diplomacy when that's not possible. And this is an example of that. And uh, this is the first time, even though ransomware attacks have been increasing over the past uh, 18 months, if not longer, that there has been this level of engagement at this level. And certainly the President knew, even when they met in Geneva, that there would be a need for ongoing discussions and engagements. I would say the reason that uh, they commended uh, the work of their teams is this is consistent with the President's view that diplomacy includes working together where there is opportunity and agreement and being clear and candid and forthright when there is disagreement. And this call is an example of that. So because of their agreement and the discussion they had in Geneva, uh, the UN Security Council is going to extend access for humanitarian corridors, providing assistance, humanitarian assistance to people in Syria. People, that's something that is pivotal and that is going to save lives. That is something to be commended. At the same time, uh, the President made clear, as I think you could see uh, in the readout, uh, that um, it, it, he underscored the need uh, for President Putin to take action to disrupt these ransomware groups. Uh, well, uh, our evil, we know, operates in Russia. Uh, and other countries around the world, uh, and we don't have uh, additional or new information suggesting the Russian government directed these attacks, uh, we also know and we also believe that they have a responsibility. They have a responsibility to take action. And as you can see in the readout, the President also made clear that the United States will take any necessary action to defend its people and its critical infrastructure. So this was an example of uh, leader-to-leader diplomacy, something the President feels is vital as he uh, operates in the world. Mm -hmm.